So, why do we need statistics? An RTC peer connection, as with any other transmission channel that goes over the internet, faces multiple challenges that may cause that the audio, video or data packets that transmit can get lost, which in turn can create delay and quality issues. That's why it's very important that us, as developers, are able to monitor the performance of the underlying network and media pipeline. With that in mind, the GetStat API was designed in order to provide the mechanism to implement such monitoring. Essentially, after you create an RTC peer connection, you can call it GetStat's function, which will return a promise. When the promise resolves, you'll get an array with all kinds of information about the connection. That will help you to diagnose any problem that may be happening in a call. To give you an idea of the information provided by this API, let's take a look at the sample code provided by the official WebRTC team. When you're ready, move to the next lesson.